morning. Welcome to the Art Money Talk. My name is Mo. Today's question is how to photograph paintings without glare. Perhaps it has happened to you. You're taking a picture of an amazing artwork in the museum and all you see is yourself holding a phone. Or perhaps you see a large reflection of windows with people passing in front or a very ugly spotlight in the middle of this artwork and you took this photo and you don't like it. So today I will show you a few tips and tricks on how to create better image of artwork without glare. Here I have divided this into three different scenarios. Let's first talk about framed art. This is one of the most common problems you will encounter when you're taking picture of artwork behind a glass. Imagine you are in a museum or in an art gallery. The painting is here, the window is here, spotlight is there, and you are in the middle. And there's nothing you can do. You can't move none of the elements except yourself, and you're trying to find the best angle, and you don't find it. Well, in this case, the best bet you have is to use a polarizing filter. There are two kinds of polarizing filter, the linear and the circular. But they do the same thing. They help you to reduce the glare from these glass surfaces. You can easily get hold of these filters by going to a camera store or going online on Amazon. However, make sure that you don't confuse it with the neutral density filters because they can look more or less the same. And make sure that you get the right size for the lens you have. If you're taking pictures of your own artwork, then it becomes very simple. Just take your work out of the frame. You can decide that. Of course, you can say, I want my work to be framed while I take a picture. Okay, great. Then you just use the American box. It looks the same as a classically framed artwork, however, without the glass. It can give this sleek contemporary look and it can make your painting look extra gorgeous on photos. Because neutral density filters can help you reduce the glare, but not 100% eliminate the glare. So the best way is still to get rid of the glass. Taking picture of paintings on canvas. If you're taking pictures of a painting on canvas with glossy finish, no matter if it's a painting with oil or it's acrylic, you have the same problem as if there is a glass in between your camera and the artwork. The first thing you should do is to eliminate the on-camera flash because the on-camera flash is the least flattering light you can have when taking photos of anything. So because the fact that it is in the same angle of your lens, so no matter how you move, it will give you a direct light and it will make this ugly spot somewhere in the artwork. Also walk away from the window because perhaps this window is giving you uneven light or cast shadows on the painting. So make sure that you move away with the work to a shadow area and manage the lighting yourself. There are two ways to manage the lighting. One is that you can put a large bed sheets on the window so you create a kind of a diffusion. Just by having this simple white sheet that may cost 10 bucks in any home decor store that it gives you this thousand bucks look of this nice diffused professional lighting. Also, you can use continuous lighting like those light I'm using right now in this video. They're very cheap, they're very easy to use. All you need is a wall plug to plug this into the wall and that's it. You can get a whole set for under 50 bucks on Amazon. Street art. If you're taking a picture of a street art outside, then the best bet is don't do it on a sunny day. Because on a sunny day, the light can be very direct and it can give you this lens glare. Perhaps it is the effect you want. If not, then you have to wait to take picture in a cloudy day. As long as it's not pouring cats and dogs, it is okay. Because those clouds are working like a diffuser, like the bed sheet we put over the window, remember? So it works like a diffuser and gives a very easy, even lighting over this painting and create a very nice look. Of course, if you say it can look too gray, you can add a bit of warmth in the post-production. If this artwork is in a tunnel, for example, or in a cave that doesn't have any natural light, what you can do is by using a tripod and set to a bulb mode or long exposure mode. Make sure you are triggering your photo by having this timer or using a cable or wireless trigger so that you don't press or squeeze or touch or shake your camera when you trigger this photo. Otherwise, you have this blurry, shaky photo and that you don't want. I hope this video have provided with you some insights on how to avoid glare and take better photos of the artwork. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.